but the reality is most of us are no chef wonderful. Meal times can be stressful, time consuming, and really feel like a chore. There's stuff everywhere as you're trying to prep, measure, and cook all in one go. The right tool is never where you need it. The food is burning on the stove, and then <laughs> there's the dreaded cleanup. There has to be a better way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> well, now there is Meat Prep Deck, the world's first all-in-one recipe preparation system loaded with everything you need to easily prepare chaos-free meals. Prep Deck comes with 15 ingredient containers that not only keep you organised, they double as measuring cups and measuring spoons. A range of prepping tools like a zester, grater, juicer, peeler and more. And they clip directly onto the containers so you can finally prep, measure and store without making a mess. The stylish exterior doubles as a large cutting board and it's detachable for easy cleaning. There's a removable compartment for collecting your scraps and there's even a place for your phone or tablet so you can follow along your favourite recipes. Prep Deck is on a mission to bring back the joy of cooking. So which shark is ready to prep their checkbooks and get to cooking up some profits with Prep Deck? Yeah, really cool product and I, I like the name a lot. Prep Deck, it's, uh, as one of the judges said, it's, it's highly suggestive of what the product is without being too descriptive. You hear right. prep deck and you think preparation, a deck, like, you know, I'm going to prep something. I think prep, I think food prep, right? So it's a really great suggestive trademark. Um, and it's kind of what we would coach a lot of clients to do with their branding is find a suggestive brand that's not overly descriptive. So we have been registered since 2018. So when you have a pending trademark or you don't have a trademark at all, you use the TM symbol. That's kind of how you put folks on notice of that you believe you have some sort of common law or unregistered right in the brand. When you get the registration certificate from the United States Patent Trademark Office, then you use the circle R, the registered trademark symbol. So they should be using that. He actually goes on to walk away from a deal. Uh, Mr. Wonderful tried to get tried to offer a debt equity deal. Apparently, he's, he's extremely profitable, uh, well thought through. So I looked it up. They, they do have a utility patent granted, so excellent there. They went ahead and filed a child patent on a design. 